How does minimally invasive surgery differ from traditional, major, open surgery? Traditional, major, open surgery requires a major incision in the body, often several inches long. Allowing surgeons to physically place their hands inside the body to work. In minimally invasive surgery, the incision is very small and surgeons do not place their hands inside the body. Using a laparoscope, a narrow wand containing a video camera. Surgeons are able to insert tools into tiny surgical openings to remove diseased tissue. Laparoscopy was introduced in the 1970s for gynecological treatment and gallbladder removal. At least half of all surgeries are now minimally invasive, laparoscopic or arthroscopic. With a wide range of applications gallbladder removal, appendix removal, hernia repair, gynecological, colon removal, partial lung removal, spleen removal, and surgery for chronic heartburn or reflux disease. How does short-term memory differ from long-term memory? Short-term memory, also called primary memory, refers to small bits of information that can be recalled immediately. The recalled information has no permanent importance, such as a name or telephone number that is only used once. Long-term memory is the process by which information that for some reason is interpreted as being important is remembered for a much longer periods. Short-term memories may be converted to long-term memories. How do lead acid batteries work? Lead acid batteries consist of positive and negative lead plates. Suspended in a diluted sulfuric acid solution called an electrolyte. Everything is contained in a chemically and electrically inert case. As the cell discharges, sulfur molecules from the electrolyte bond with the lead plates. Releasing excess electrons. The flow of electrons is called electricity. What are the preferred and permissible blood types for transfusions? The table below lists the blood types that are best matched with other blood types. What does half-life mean? Half-life is the time it takes for the number of radioactive nuclei originally present in a sample to decrease to one half of their original number. Thus, if a sample has a half-life of one year, its radioactivity will be reduced to half its original amount at the end of a year and to one quarter at the end of two years. The half-life of a particular radionuclide is always the same. 
independent of temperature, chemical combination, or any other condition. Natural radiation was discovered in 1896 by the French physicist Antoine Henri Becquerel, 1852 to 1908. His discovery initiated the science of nuclear physics. What is a food web? A food web consists of interconnecting food chains. Many animals feed on different foods rather than exclusively. On one single species of prey or one type of plant. Animals that use a variety of food sources have a greater chance of survival than those with a single food source. Complex food webs provide greater stability to a living community. Is the moon really blue during a blue moon? Although a bluish looking moon can result from effects of Earth's atmosphere. The term blue moon does not refer to the color of the moon. For example, the phenomenon was widely observed in North America on September 26, 1950, due to Canadian forest fires that had scattered high altitude dust, which refracted or absorbed certain wavelengths of light. The popular definition of a blue moon, is the second full moon in a single calendar month. Based on this definition, a blue moon occurs, on average, every 2.72 years. Since 29.53 days pass between full moons, a synodial month, there is never a blue moon in February. On rare occasions, a blue moon can be seen twice in one year, but only in certain parts of the world. Blue moons will next occur, August 31, 2012 July 31, 2015 January 31, 2018 March 31, 2018 October 31, 2020 August 31, 2023 May 31, 2026 December 31, 2028 September 30, 2031 July 31, 2034 However, this is a new definition of a blue moon based on an article that appeared in Sky and Telescope in 1946. The older definition of a blue moon, found in the main farmer's almanac dating back to 1819, Describes a blue moon as the third full moon in a season of four full moons. To further complicate the calculation of a blue moon. Astronomers define the start of a season based on the actual position of the sun throughout its annual orbit. The seasons will not be of equal length according to this definition. The main farmer's almanac preferred to define each season as being of equal length. Therefore, determining the occurrence of a blue moon based on the traditional definition will depend on whether the astronomical definition of a season or the main farmer's almanac definition is used. Why do cats have whiskers? The function of a cat's whiskers is not fully understood. They are thought to have something to do with the sense of touch. 
removing them can disturb a cat for some time. Some people believe that the whiskers act as antennae in the dark. Enabling the cat to identify things it cannot see. The whiskers may help the cat to pinpoint the direction from which an odor is coming. In addition, the cat is thought to point some of its whiskers downwards. To guide it when jumping or running over uneven terrain at night. What is cloning? A clone is a group of cells derived from the original cell by fission, one cell dividing into two cells. Or by mitosis, cell nucleus division with each chromosome splitting into two. Cloning perpetuates an existing organism's genetic makeup. Gardeners have been making clones of plants for centuries by taking cuttings of plants to make genetically identical copies. For plants that refuse to grow from cuttings, or for the animal world. Modern scientific techniques have greatly extended the range of cloning. The technique for plants starts with taking a cutting of a plant that best satisfies the criteria for reproductive success. Beauty, or some other standard. Since all of the plant cells contain the genetic information. From which the entire plant can be reconstructed, the cutting can be taken from any part of the plant. Placed in a culture medium having nutritious chemicals and a growth hormone. The cells in the cutting divide, doubling in size every six weeks until. The mass of cells produces small white globular points called embryoids. These embryoids develop roots, or shoots, and begin to look like tiny plants. Transplanted into compost, these plants grow into exact copies of the parent plant. The whole process takes 18 months. This process, called tissue culture, has been used to make clones of oil palm, asparagus, pineapples, strawberries, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, bananas, carnations, ferns, and others. Besides making highly productive copies of the best plant available. This method controls viral diseases that are passed through normal seed generations. How is the star in star sapphires produced? Sapphires are composed of gem quality corundum, Al203. Color appears in sapphires when small amounts of iron and titanium are present. Star sapphires contain needles of the mineral rutile that will display as a 6 ray star figure when cut in the unfaceted cabochon, dome or convex, form. The most highly prized star sapphires are blue. Black or white star sapphires are less valuable. Since a ruby is simply the red variety of corundum, star rubies also exist. What are the organs of the endocrine system? The endocrine system consists of glands and other hormone-producing tissues. 
Glands are specialized cells that secrete hormones into the interstitial fluid. Hormones are then transported to the capillaries and circulated via the blood. The major endocrine glands are the pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, pineal, and adrenal glands. Other hormone secreting organs are the central nervous system. Hypothalamus, kidneys, heart, pancreas, thymus, ovaries, and testes. Some organs, such as the pancreas, secrete hormones as an endocrine function but have other functions also. What are some general effects of aging on the human body? The aging process affects every organ system. Some changes begin as early as ages 30 to 40. The aging process becomes more rapid between ages 55 and 60. What is the ancient Greek problem of squaring the circle? This problem was to construct, with a straight edge and compass, a square having the same area as a given circle. The Greeks were unable to solve the problem because the task is impossible. As was shown by the German mathematician Ferdinand von Lindemann, 1852-1939, in 1882. Who is the father of zoology? Aristotle, 384-322b. C.E. is considered the father of zoology. His contributions to zoology include vast quantities of information about the variety structure, and behavior of animals. The analysis of the parts of living organisms, and the beginnings of the science of taxonomy. What are the characteristics of the protists? Protists are a diverse group of organisms. All protists are eukaryotic. Many are unicellular, but they may be multicellular, multinucleate, or exhibit a colonial organization. Although most are microscopic, some are much larger, reaching lengths of nearly 200 feet, 60 meters. In early, traditional taxonomic schemes. They were united on the basis of being neither plant nor animal nor fungus. Current evidence suggests that protists exhibit characteristics of the plant, animal, and fungi kingdoms. Which scientific disciplines provide evidence for evolution? Although information from any area of natural science is relevant to the study of evolution, there are several in particular that directly support the work of Darwin and Wallace. Paleobiology, geology, and organic chemistry provide insight on how living organisms have evolved. 
Ecology, genetics, and molecular biology also demonstrate how living species are currently changing in response to their environments and therefore undergoing evolution. Who was the first person to map the Gulf Stream? In his travels to and from France as a diplomat, Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790. Noticed a difference in speed in the two directions of travel between France and America. He was the first to study ships' reports seriously to determine the cause of the speed variation. As a result, he found that there was a current of warm water coming from the Gulf of Mexico that crossed the North Atlantic Ocean in the direction of Europe in 1770. Franklin mapped it. Franklin thought the current started in the Gulf of Mexico. However, the Gulf Stream actually originates in the Western Caribbean Sea and moves through the Gulf of Mexico. The Straits of Florida, then north along the east coast of the United States to Cape Hatteras in North Carolina, where it becomes northeast. The Gulf Stream eventually breaks up near Newfoundland, Canada, to form smaller currents or eddies. Some of these eddies blow toward the British Isles and Norway, causing the climate of these regions to be milder than other areas of northwestern Europe. When and where did the concept of numbers and counting first develop? The human adult, including some of the higher animals, can discern the numbers 1 through 4 without any training. After that people must learn to count. To count requires a system of number manipulation skills. A scheme to name the numbers, and some way to record the numbers. Early people began with fingers and toes, and progressed to shells and pebbles. In the 4th millennium BCE in Elam, near what is today Iran along the Persian Gulf, Accountants began using unbaked clay tokens instead of pebbles. Each represented one order in a numbering system. A stick shape for the number 1, a pellet for 10, a ball for 100, and so on. During the same period, another clay based civilization in Sumer in Lower Mesopotamia invented the same system. What are PCBS? Polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBS, are a group of chemicals that were widely used before 1970 in the electrical industry as coolants for transformers and in capacitors and other electrical devices. They caused environmental problems because they do not break down and can spread through the water, soil, and air. They have been linked by some scientists to cancer and reproductive disorders and have been shown to cause liver function abnormalities. Government action has resulted in the control of the use, disposal, 
and production of PCBs in nearly all areas of the world, including the United States. What percentage of salt consumed in the United States is used for de-icing roads? In 2009, an estimated 43% of the salt, sodium chloride, consumed in the United States was used to de-ice roads. Although calcium chloride may also be effective in deicing roads, it is not as economical. How is blood pressure measured? A sphygmomanometer is the device used to measure blood pressure. It was invented in 1881 by an Austrian named von Bash. It consists of a cuff with an inflatable bladder that is wrapped around the upper arm. A rubber bulb to inflate the bladder, and a device that indicates the pressure of blood. Measuring arterial tension, blood pressure, of a person's circulation is achieved when the cuff is applied to the arm over the artery and pumped to a pressure that occludes or blocks it. This gives the systolic measure, or the maximum pressure of the blood which occurs during contraction of the ventricles of the heart. Air is then released from the cuff until the blood is first. Heard passing through the opening artery, called Korokoff sounds. This gives diastolic pressure, or the minimum value of blood pressure that occurs during the relaxation of the arterial filling phase of the heart muscle. How fast is DNA copied? In prokaryotes, about 1,000 nucleotides can be copied per second. So all of the 4.7 megabytes of Escherichia coli can be copied in about 40 minutes. Since the eukaryotic genome is immense compared to the prokaryotic genome, one might think that the eukaryotic DNA replication would take a very long time. However, Actual measurements show that the chromosomes in eukaryotes have multiple replication sites per chromosome. Eukaryotic cells can replicate about 500 to 5000 bases per minute. The actual time to copy the entire genome would depend on the size of their genome. Is glass a solid or a liquid? Even at room temperature, glass appears to be a solid in the ordinary sense of the word. However, it actually is a fluid with an extremely high viscosity, which refers to the internal friction of fluids. Viscosity is a property of fluids by which the flow motion is gradually damped, slowed, and dissipated by heat. Viscosity is a familiar phenomenon in daily life. An opened bottle of wine can be poured, the wine flows easily under the influence of gravity. Maple syrup 
on the other hand, cannot be poured so easily. Under the action of gravity, it flows sluggishly. The syrup has a higher viscosity than the wine. Glass is usually composed of mixed oxides based around the silicon dioxide, SiO2, unit. A very good electrical insulator, and generally inert to chemicals. Commercial glass is manufactured by the fusing of sand, silica, SiO2, limestone, CACO2, and soda. Sodium carbonate Na2CO3, at temperatures around 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit to 2,732 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,400 degrees Celsius to 1,500 degrees Celsius. On cooling, the melt becomes very viscous, and at about 932 degrees Fahrenheit, 500 degrees Celsius. Known as glass transition temperature, the melt solidifies to form soda glass. Small amounts of metal oxides are used to color glass. And its physical properties can be changed by the addition of substances like lead oxide, to increase softness, density, and refractive ability for cut glass and lead crystal, and borax. To significantly lower thermal expansion for cookware and laboratory equipment. Other materials can be used to form glasses if rapidly cooled from the liquid. Or gaseous phase to prevent an ordered crystalline structure from forming. Glass objects might have been made as early as 2500 BCE in Egypt and Mesopotamia. And glass blowing developed about 100 BCE in Phoenicia. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers, per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the Waoi, Acanthosibium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers, per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers, per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers, per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers per hour. How has plant classification changed over the years?
the earliest classifications of plants were based on whether the plant was considered medicinal or was shown to have other uses. Dere Rustica by Cato the Censor, 234 to 149 BCE. Lists 125 plants and was one of the earliest catalogues of Roman plants. Gaius Plinius Secundus, 23 to 79 CE. Known as Pliny the Elder, wrote Historia Naturalis, which was published in the first century. The book was one of the earliest catalogues of significant plants in the ancient world. Describing more than 1,000 plants. Plant classification became more complicated as more and more plants were discovered. One of the earliest plant taxonomists was the Italian botanist Cesalpinus, 1519-1603. In 1583 he classified more than 1,500 plants according to various attributes, including leaf formation and the presence of seeds or fruit. John Ray, 1627-1705, was the first botanist to base plant. Classification on the presence of multiple similarities and features. His Historia Plantarum Generalis. Published between 1686 and 1704, was a detailed classification of more than 18,000 plants. The book included a distinction between monocotyledon and dicotyledon flowering. Plants. The French botanist J.P. de Tournefort, 1656-1708. Was the first to characterize genus as a taxonomic rank that falls between the ranks of family and species. De Tournefort's classification system included 9,000 species in 700 genera. The Swedish naturalist Carolus Linnaeus, 1707 1778, published Species Plantarum in 1753. It organized plants into 24 classes based on reproductive features. The Linnaean system of binomial nomenclature remains the most widely used system for classifying plants and animals. It is considered an artificial system since it often does not reflect natural relationships. During the late 18th century several natural systems of classification were proposed. The French botanist Antoine Laurent de Gesserou, 1686-1758, published Genera Plantarum. The Tome Prodrama System Atis Naturalis Regna Vegetabilis was started in 1824 by the Swiss botanist Augustin Pirame de Candal, 1778-1841, and completed 50 years later. Another genera plantarum was published between 1862 and 1883 by the English botanists George Bentham. 1800-1884, and Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker, 1817-1911. What is 24 karat gold? The term karat refers to the percentage of gold versus the percentage of an alloy in a piece of jewelry or a decorative object. Gold is too soft to be usable in its purest form and has to be mixed with other metals. 1 carat is equal to 1 24th part fine gold. Thus, 
24 karat gold is 100% pure and 18 karat gold is 18 24 or 75% pure. Which planets have rings? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all have rings. Jupiter's rings were discovered by Voyager 1 in March 1979. The rings extend 80,240 miles. 129,130 kilometers, from the center of the planet. They are about 4,300 miles, 7,000 kilometers, in width and less than 20 miles, 30 kilometers, thick. A faint inner ring is believed to extend to the edge of Jupiter's atmosphere. Saturn has the largest, most spectacular set of rings in the solar system. Saturn's ring system was first recognized by the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens. 1629 to 1695 in 1659 its rings are 169,800 miles 273,200 kilometers in diameter but less than 10 miles 16 kilometers thick there are six different rings the largest of which appears to be divided into thousands of ringlets the rings appear to be composed of pieces of water ice ranging in size from tiny grains to blocks several tens of yards in diameter. In 1977 when Uranus occulted, passed in front of, a star, scientists observed that the light from the star flickered or winked several times before the planet itself covered the star. The same flickering occurred in reverse order after the occultation. The reason for this was determined to be a ring around Uranus. Nine rings were initially identified. And Voyager 2 observed two more in 1986. The rings are thin, narrow, and very dark. Voyager 2 also discovered a series of at least four rings around Neptune in 1989. Some of the rings appear to have arcs. Areas where there is a higher density of material than at other parts of the ring. Are fingernails and toenails the same thickness? No. Toenails are approximately twice as thick as fingernails. Why do dogs howl at sirens? The high pitch of a siren is very similar to the pitch of a dog's howl. A dog's howl is a way of communicating with other dogs either to indicate location or to define territory. When a dog responds to an ambulance or fire engine siren, he is returning the call of the wild. What is red tide and what causes it? Red tide is a term used for a brownish or reddish discoloration occurring in ocean, river, or lake water. It is caused by the rapid reproduction of a variety of toxic organisms.
especially the toxic red dinoflagellates, which are members of the genera Gymnotidium and Goniolax. Some red tides are harmless, but millions of fish may be killed during a bloom, as the buildup is called. Other red tides can poison shellfish and the birds or humans who eat the contaminated food. Scientists do not fully understand why the bloom occurs. How does a solar cell generate electricity? A solar cell, also called a photovoltaic PV cell, consists of several layers of silicon-based material. When photons, particles of solar energy from sunlight, strike a photovoltaic cell, they are reflected, pass through, or are absorbed. Absorbed photons provide energy to generate electricity. The top P layer absorbs light energy. This energy frees electrons at the junction layer between the P layer and the N layer. The freed electrons collect at the bottom N layer. The loss of electrons from the top layer produces holes. In the layer that are then filled by other electrons. When a connection, or circuit, is completed between the P layer and N layer the flow of electrons creates an electric current. The photovoltaic effect, including the naming of the P layer and N layer, was discovered by Russell Ohl, 1898-1987, a researcher at Bell Labs, in 1940. What is a binary star? A binary star is a pair of stars revolving around a common center of gravity. About half of all stars are members of either binary star systems or multiple star systems, which contain more than two stars. The bright star Sirius, about 8.6 light years away, is composed of two stars. One about 2.3 times the mass of the Sun, the other a white dwarf star about 980 times the mass of Jupiter. Alpha Centauri, the nearest star to Earth after the Sun, is actually three stars. Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, two Sun-like stars that orbit each other. And Alpha Centauri C, a low-mass red star that orbits around them. What is the difference between spelunking and speleology? Spelunking, or sport caving, is exploring caves as a hobby or for recreation. Speleology is the scientific study of caves and related phenomena. What are Cape May Diamonds? They are pure quartz crystals of many sizes and colors. Found in the vicinity of the Coast Guard Station in Cape May, New Jersey. When polished and faceted, these crystals have the appearance of real diamonds. 
prior to the development of modern gem examination equipment. Many people were fooled by these quartz crystals. The possibility of finding a Cape May diamond on one's own. And the availability of already polished faceted stones, has been a long-standing tourist attraction in the Cape May area. What are the major senses? As early as 300 B.C.E., the five senses were recognized to include smell, taste, sight, hearing, and touch. More recently, scientists categorize the senses into two major groups. One group is the special senses, which are produced by highly localized sensory organs and include the senses of smell, taste, sight, hearing, and balance. The other group is the general senses, which are more widely distributed throughout the body and include such senses as touch, pressure, pain, temperature, and vibration. When was offshore drilling for oil first done? The first successful offshore oil well was built off the coast at Summerland. Santa Barbara County, California, in 1896. Why are the crystals in the Cave of Crystals so large? The Cave of Crystals, Cuvo de los Crystals, was discovered in the Nayaca mine in Chihuahua, Mexico in 2000. Crystals in the cave are made of gypsum and measure 36 feet, 11 meters. Long and can weigh up to 55 tons as long as school buses and as heavy as a small herd of elephants. The cave is located nearly 1,000 feet, 300 meters, below the surface. The air temperature in the cave is 112 degrees Fahrenheit 50 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 90 to 100%. The crystals grew because the water temperature was 136 degrees Fahrenheit 58 degrees Celsius. The temperature at which the mineral anhydrite dissolves into gypsum. The crystallized form of gypsum is sealnite. Conditions in the cave were constant, allowing the crystals to continue to form and grow. To their large size until 1985, when miners used pumps to lower the water table. Draining the cave. If the cave is allowed to fill with water again, the crystals will resume growing. Which dogs are the easiest to train? In a study of 56 popular dog breeds the top breeds to train were Shetland Sheepdogs, Shizus, Miniature Toy and Standard Poodles, Bichens Frises, English Springer Spaniels, and Welsh Corgis. What is the safest way to view a solar eclipse?
punch a pinhole in an index card and hold it 2 to 3 feet, 0.6 to 0.9 meters. In front of another index card. The eclipse can be viewed safely through the hole. In case the index card contraption in a box, using aluminum foil with a pinhole. And you'll see a sharper image of the eclipse. You may also purchase special glasses with aluminized mylar lenses. Damage to the retina can occur if the eclipse is viewed with other devices such as photographic filters. Exposed film, smoked glass, camera lenses, telescopes, or binoculars. What was one of the most famous criminal cases involving forensic botany? Forensic botany is the identification of plants or plant products. This form of study can be used to produce evidence for legal trials. One of the first criminal cases to use forensic botany was the famous 1935 trial of Bruno Hauptmann. 1899-1936, who was accused, and later convicted, of kidnapping and murdering the son of Charles, 1902-1974, and Anne Morrow, 1906-2001, Lindbergh. The botanical evidence presented in the case centered on a homemade wooden ladder used during the kidnapping and left at the scene of the crime. After extensive investigation, the plant anatomist Arthur Kohler, 1885-1967, showed that parts of the ladder were made from wooden planks taken from Hauptmann's attic floor. How accurate is the old farmer's almanac in predicting weather? The farmer's almanac published in Lewiston, Maine, and the old farmer's almanac published in Dublin, New Hampshire, both make predictions about the weather for the coming year when they are published. Each book claims to have secret formulas to predict the weather. The Old Farmer's Almanac claims it has an accuracy rate of 80%. Prior to modern forecasting techniques using radar, satellites, and computer simulation, many people relied on the almanacs for long-range weather forecasts. However, Many of the predictions in the almanacs are very general in nature. Such as a five-day period in November may be predicted to be sunny slash cool without a range of expected temperatures or whether it will be sunny each of the five days. Who first used fingerprints as a means of identification? It is generally acknowledged that Francis Galton, 1822-1911, was the first to classify fingerprints. However, his basic ideas were further developed by Sir Edward Henry. 1850-1931, who devised a system based on the pattern of the thumbprint. In 1901 in England, Henry established the first fingerprint. Bureau with Scotland Yard called the fingerprint branch.
How are birds related to dinosaurs? Birds are essentially modified dinosaurs with feathers. Robert T. Backer, 1945, and John H. Ostrom, 1928-2005, did extensive research on the relationship between birds and dinosaurs in the 1970s and concluded that the bony structure of small dinosaurs was very similar to Archaeopteryx. The first animal classified as a bird, but that dinosaur fossils showed no evidence of feathers. They proposed that birds and dinosaurs evolved from the same source. What are the major developmental milestones during infancy? A normal infant will double his or her birth weight by five or six months of age and triple his or her birth weight during the first year of life. Major developmental milestones during infancy are summarized in the table below. There is considerable variation between individuals, but these are within the normal range. What is the science of chaos? Chaos or chaotic behavior is the behavior of a system whose final state depends very sensitively on the initial conditions. The behavior is unpredictable and cannot be distinguished from a random process. Even though it is strictly determinate in a mathematical sense, Chaos studies the complex and irregular behavior of many systems in nature, such as changing weather patterns, flow of turbulent fluids, and swinging pendulums. Scientists once thought they could make exact predictions about such systems, but found that a tiny difference in starting conditions can lead to greatly different results. Chaotic systems do obey certain rules, which mathematicians have described with equations. But the science of chaos demonstrates the difficulty of predicting the long-range behavior of chaotic systems. How much carbon dioxide is produced per gallon of gasoline? A gallon of gasoline produces 19.4 pounds, 8.8 .8 kilograms, of carbon dioxide. The average passenger vehicle produces 5.2 metric tons, 11,464 pounds, of carbon dioxide annually. Below are listed some pollutants found in houses, why is exposure to asbestos a health hazard? Asbestos fibers were used in building materials between 1900 and the early 1970s as insulation for walls and pipes. As fireproofing for walls and fireplaces, in soundproofing and acoustic ceiling tiles. As a strengthener for vinyl flooring and joint compounds, and as a paint texturizer, asbestos poses a health hazard only if the tiny fibers are released into the air. 
but this can happen with any normal fraying or cracking. Asbestos removal aggravates this normal process and multiplies the danger. Level it should only be handled by a contractor trained in handling asbestos. Once released, the particles can hang suspended in the air for more than 20 hours. Exposure to asbestos has long been known to cause asbestosis. This is a chronic, restrictive lung disease caused by the inhalation of tiny mineral asbestos fibers that scar lung tissues. Asbestos has also been linked with cancers of the larynx, pharynx, oral cavity, pancreas, kidneys, ovaries, and gastrointestinal tract. The American Lung Association reports that prolonged exposure doubles the likelihood that a smoker will develop lung cancer. It takes cancer 15 to 30 years to develop from asbestos. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer affecting the surface lining of the pleura, lung, or peritoneum, abdomen, which generally spreads rapidly over large surfaces of either the thoracic or abdominal cavities. Current treatment methods include surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy although mesothelioma continues to be difficult to control. When does dreaming occur during the sleep cycle? Almost all dreams occur during REM sleep. Scientists do not understand why dreaming is important. One theory is that the brain is either cataloging the information it acquired during the day and discarding the data it does not want. Or is creating scenarios to work through situations causing emotional distress. Regardless of its function, most people who are deprived of sleep or dreams become disoriented. Unable to concentrate, and may even have hallucinations. What is the Heimlich maneuver? This effective first aid technique to resuscitate choking and drowning victims was introduced by Dr. Henry J. Heimlich, 1920, of Xavier University in Cincinnati, Ohio. It is a technique for removing a foreign body from the trachea or pharynx where it is preventing flow of air to the lungs. When the victim is in the vertical position, the maneuver consists of applying subdiaphragmatic pressure by wrapping one's arms around the victim's waist from behind. Making a fist with one hand and placing it against the victim's abdomen between the navel and the rib cage, clasping one's fist with the other hand, and pressing in with a quick, forceful thrust. Repeat several times if necessary. When the victim is in the horizontal position, which some experts recommend, the rescuer straddles the victim's thighs. Which volcanoes in the contiguous 48 states are considered active and have erupted in the past 200 years? Seven major volcanoes in the contiguous 48 states are considered active. 
2 in California Lassen Peak, and MT. Shasta, 4 in Washington Glacier Peak, MT Baker. MT Rainier, and MT St. Helens, and 1 in Oregon MT Hood. How much does human hair grow in a year? Each hair grows about 9 inches, 23 centimeters, every year. Which woods are used for railroad ties? Many species of wood are used for ties. The more common are oaks, gums, Douglas fir, mixed hardwoods. Hemlock, southern pine, sycamore, and mixed softwoods. What are the Labri tar pits? The tar pits are located in an area of Los Angeles, California, formerly known as Rancho Labri. Heavy, sticky tar oozed out of the earth there, the scum from great petroleum reservoirs far underground. The pools were cruel traps for uncounted numbers of animals. Today, the tar pits are a part of Hancock Park where many fossil remains are displayed along with life-sized reconstructions of these prehistoric species. The tar pits were first recognized as a fossil site in 1875. However, scientists did not systematically excavate the area until 1901. By comparing Rancho Labri's fossil, Specimens with their nearest living relatives, paleontologists have a greater understanding of the climate, vegetation, and animal life in the area during the Ice Age. Perhaps the most impressive fossil bones recovered belong to such large extinct mammals as the imperial mammoth and the saber-toothed cat. Paleontologists have even found the remains of the western horse and the camel, which originated in North America. Migrated to other parts of the world, and became extinct in North America at the end of the Ice Age. What is punctuated equilibrium? Punctuated equilibrium is a model of macroevolution first detailed in 1972 by Niles Eldridge, 1943, and Stephen J. Gould, 1941-2002. It can be considered either a rival or supplementary model to the more gradual moving model of evolution posited by neo-Darwinism. The punctuated equilibrium model essentially asserts that most of geological history shows periods of little evolutionary change, followed by short, geologically speaking, a few million years, periods of time of rapid evolutionary change. Gould and Eldridge's work has been buttressed by the Discovery of the Hox genes that control embryonic development. Hox genes are found in all vertebrates and many other species as well. 
they control the placement of body parts in the developing embryo. Relatively minor mutations in these gene sequences could result in major body changes for species in a short period of time. Thereby giving rise to new forms of organisms and therefore new species. What is a virus? A virus is an infectious, protein-coated fragment of DNA or RNA. Viruses replicate by invading host cells and taking over the cell's machinery for DNA replication. Viral particles can then break out of the cells, spreading disease. What were the first words spoken by an astronaut after touchdown of the lunar module on the Apollo 11 flight? And by an astronaut standing on the moon? In July 20, 1969, at 4 hours 17 minutes and 43 seconds p. M. Eastern Daylight Time, 20 hours 17 minutes and 43 seconds Greenwich Mean Time, Neil A. Armstrong, 1930. And Edwin E. Aldrin, Jr., 1930, landed the lunar module Eagle on the Moon Sea of Tranquility. And Armstrong radioed, Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Several hours later, when Armstrong descended the lunar module ladder and made the small jump between the eagle and the lunar surface. He announced, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The article A was missing in the live voice transmission. And was later inserted in the record to amend the message to one small step for a man. What is eutrophication? Eutrophication is a process in which the supply of plant nutrients in a lake or pond is increased. In time, the result of natural eutrophication may be dry land where water once flowed. Caused by plant overgrowth, Natural fertilizers, washed from the soil. Result in an accelerated growth of plants, producing overcrowding. As the plants die off, the dead and decaying vegetation depletes the lake's oxygen supply, causing fish to die. The accumulated dead plant and animal material eventually changes a deep lake to a shallow one. Then to a swamp, and finally it becomes dry land. While the process of eutrophication is a natural one. It has been accelerated enormously by human activities. Fertilizers from farms, sewage, industrial wastes, and some detergents all contribute to the problem. What is the Gaia Hypothesis? British scientists James Lovelock, 1919 and Lynn Margulis. 1938, proposed the Gaia hypothesis in the 1970s. According to the theory, 
all living and non-living organisms on Earth. Form a single unity that is self-regulated by the organisms themselves. Therefore, the whole planet can be considered a huge single organism. Evidence for this theory is the stability of atmospheric conditions over eons. How many constellations are there and how were they named? Constellations are groups of stars that seem to form some particular shape. Such as that of a person, animal, or object. They only appear to form this shape and be close to each other from Earth. In actuality, the stars in a constellation are often very distant from each other. There are 88 recognized constellations whose boundaries were defined in the 1920s by the International Astronomical Union. Various cultures in all parts of the world have had their own constellations. However, because modern science is predominantly a product of Western culture. Many of the constellations represent characters from Greek and Roman mythology. When Europeans began to explore the southern hemisphere in the 16th and 17th centuries, they derived some of the new star patterns from the technological wonders of their time, such as the telescope. Names of constellations are usually given in Latin. Individual stars in a constellation are usually designated with Greek letters in the order of brightness. The brightest star is Alpha, the second brightest is Beta, and so on. The genitive, or possessive, form of the constellation name is used. Thus Alpha Orionis is the brightest star of the constellation Orion. Is the world actually getting warmer? Global surface temperatures increased at a rate of near 0.11 degree F slash decade. 0.06 degree C slash decade, during most of the 20th century. But the rate increased to approximately 0.29 degree F slash decade, 0.16 degree C slash decade, during the past 30 years. There have been two sustained periods of warming, one beginning around 1910 and ending around 1945, and the most recent beginning about 1976. The decade 2000 to 2009 is the warmest on record with an average global surface temperature of 0.96 degrees Fahrenheit 0.54 degrees Celsius above the 20th century average. How does a cardiac pacemaker differ from an implantable defibrillator? Both pacemakers and implantable defibrillators are used to treat arrhythmias in the heart rate. A pacemaker monitors the electrical impulses in the heart and delivers. Electrical pulses as necessary to make the heart beat in a more normal rhythm. 